Hey guys, uh, so I'm on here for a quick update. Um, it's been a little time since my since my last uh, post, which basically was starting and telling you guys about this cancer journey. Um, so I was diagnosed on November 9th, 2022. It is now December 7th. And since then, I have had um, a MRI, um, a CT scan of pretty much the whole body, and a PET scan, which is a bone scan, to make sure that this has not spread any to any other part or organs of my body um, because there is lymph node activity. So um, those all, okay, I just got those results back today. Those came back clear. Thank you, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> when I did go in on Monday and had my, um, I did my CT and PET scan all together and I wasn't sure if it was a reaction of the barium sulfate that I had to drink <clears throat> or I don't know what, I don't know what was going on, but when I came home, naturally, you know, they tell you and you know that you're going to be a little bloated, you're going to be full of gas and that's just the fun of it, which whatever, dealt with it. Um, but I ate, I went to the bathroom, I felt fine, like wasn't having any issues. And all of a sudden about, I don't know, nine, 10 o'clock at night, I started noticing that I was having pain, like right below like my last rib, um, not pain, I'm sorry, it was discomfort right below my last rib and it was kind of coming around to like right about my belly belly button area um and it was just more annoying like it kind of felt like I just needed to like shift my body or twist my body or something like that but I just couldn't get comfortable I couldn't no matter which way I tried to lay down no matter which tr way I tried to um <clears throat> sit it just was not comfortable so then I took some Tylenol waited for that to kick in about 11 o'clock it still was no relief and uh, my anxiety was starting to pick up I could tell so I went and got my husband up <clears throat> and uh, had him come downstairs with me and he was trying to help me get through it and about an hour later we thought well sometimes we piggyback um, Advil with Tylenol let's try to see if that helps so we did that, we waited a little bit, still no relief. Um, then he even, just because of earlier, he had even said, well, why don't I give you a couple of gas X? And I'm like, oh, whatever. So I took them, but we even waited like a good, I don't know, probably 30, 40 minutes and just nothing. And by that point, the discomfort had now turned into um, pain. And I literally felt like I was in like, uh, early labor um, it was intense I had to breathe through it um, I was like doubled over so so that had started about nine o'clock and so I took it and took it and took it until one and by one o'clock in the morning when I was doubled over and it was like painful now I'm like now I was worried like I didn't know if something ruptured I didn't I had no clue what the heck was going on so we headed to the emergency room <clears throat> and so say we got there I don't know a little after one and for probably another 40 to 45 minutes like I still was in pain I, I still was thinking you know what this was the right call because at least if something worse happens like I'm already here so all of a sudden about 10 of 2 the pain started subsiding and then I was like, okay, well, let's see if I can sit down because I couldn't even sit down. And I sat down and I didn't have any pain. I'm like, hmm, okay, well, I'm just going to sit here for another 10 minutes and, you know, see how I feel. Long story short, I felt totally fine. So, and we hadn't even been called in yet. We still were in the waiting room. And I honestly felt like me being there I was going to come out with more wrong with me than going in 
with all the sick people. So I was extremely nervous because I just worried so bad, like, well, what if something happens as soon as we get home? But I thought, you know what? We live close enough. There's three major hospitals that we live close to. So I guess I just chanced it, but it was the right decision and um, came home and it just was more gas that had built up, I guess. <laughs> Um, but came home and we monitored me for like a good hour, hour and a half. And then by that point, it was now like 24 hours since I had even had any sleep because I had testing all that morning earlier and had to prep and all that. So out of exhaustion, you know, finally somewhere around probably 3 a.m. I finally um, got to sleep. I got about three hours sleep, woke up, still felt okay. Um, kept up on my fluids and yeah I mean I was fine since then so we're assuming that's all that it was now that my PET scan and CT scans have all come back clear no evidence of disease spreading then you know I know that that was just it was just gas so tomorrow um, is my first appointment I meet with my oncologist and hope to get a better idea of what's going to be taking place and what kind of what I can expect and what kind of a chemo schedule chemo regimen I'll be on and um, I guess just take it from there still just a lot more appointments oh the only other thing I do have to do I guess to rule out but but I I would think it would have shown up on the CT and PET scan is um, I do have to have a is it called oh I can't think of the word it's a uh, base oh yes I can I have to have a endometrial and no endometrial biopsy um, because during my pap smear they said I had some thickening of the uterine lining uh, and knowing the results that this is uh, cancer they just wanted to make sure that it's not that um, <clears throat> excuse me but um, uh, so I just have to have that but supposedly that's not really anything bad like I don't even need a local or anything like that so um, I just have that's one last thing I have to have done and then uh, go from there. The other thing is, when I talk to the oncologist, I've also got to talk to and figure out um, about dental work because I have some very bad dental situation going on. And, you know, I've heard that chemo, like I, I know that chemo can make that situation worse, but I'm more worried about infection. So um, I'll have to get that situation figured out as well. But again, knowing that it hasn't spread anywhere else, you know, that I, I suppose if I had to take a week to get this taken care of, that's more, more doable now. So, all right, well, I will update you guys uh, when I can. I'm gonna keep on keeping on with this journey, but it is so amazing at how much stronger and calmer and headstrong I feel like I can be now knowing that it's just contained and we're gonna we're gonna attack it and do everything we got to do you know I don't know it's like now I feel I, I don't feel as intimidated now I feel like I can do this I can take you on get the gloves like let's go so all right I'll talk to you guys and update you when I can talk to you later bye